Well, hello everyone. Great afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to virtual coffee break with Tanisha. So happy to see everybody. Uh, before we get started with today's topic, anybody have anything we can celebrate? What have you done to move your business forward since we got together last Thursday? Anybody? Karen? Hey, uh, hey, uh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Karen, go ahead. I see your hand was well, up. Well, yes. Um, I, um, at the last minute, <laughs> tried to get that 100K pen. I sponsored two people. Woo! But I don't, and, and that was my four. But I don't know if the last one counted because I, I heard a rumor that they extended it to the 31st or no? I don't know, but you're nope. able to go. You should be able to go in your back office and see if you're on the list. I could check that. Oh, okay. I'll do that if I'm on the list. Have access to see that list. Okay. Because see, we started on the 30th, but mm -hmm. we were like at the midnight hour and at 12 o'clock hit before I can get her to sign up on the ATI. AT, ITA side. So she was halfway through. So I said, Oh, we missed it. And I was bummed out all day. And then somebody said, Well, no, they extended it to the 31st. So I went and called her back. I said, well, Let's finish. We're going to finish because she had a problem with her credit card. So she had to use a different credit card. So she got a credit card, one credit card on the marketing side, and one credit card on the travel side. But well, she's in. I, hope I you got made four. It. All right. Oh, so I just want to walk across the stage. I just well, want to walk across the stage. Congratulations for pushing. That's what's up. Congratulations yeah. on that. Anybody else do anything we can celebrate? What have you done, Constance, to push your business forward? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Well, I don't know if this is pushing it forward, but I completed payments on my flight, my room. And everything for convention. That's a big deal. That's right. I'm Investing done. in I'm, your business. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I told him, I said, I want everything cleared. Only thing I want on my card is incidentals. That's it. I know I'm that's go right. Get my key card and go in my room and enjoy the view. I'm getting in there the day before and I'm excited about that. Awesome. Awesome. Denise says she has a, a new business partner. Oh no, new members in her group. Awesome. Congratulations. Yes, you want to continue to add new friends, right? Build that friends list, extend and expand your network. Anybody else do anything we can celebrate? Yeah. We uh, finally hit 2020. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on hitting 2020. That's Thank a big you. deal. Excellent. Excellent. Robert says 60 new travel clients. Huh. That's what I'm talking about. Work that travel business. That's what's up. Uh, Mr. Burke went to success school and got those nuggets from Mr. Bradley, right? And the top income earners. Good job showing up for your success, leading from the front. That is what we do. Anybody else? What have you done to move your business forward? Kim had a private business reception. Congratulations in her living room. So I got to be there with her team of champions, which was great. Yep. Very good. Very good. Anybody else? One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Yes. Okay. At the airport, because I think I mentioned to you before that I want to do um, PBRs at the airport where I work at. Mm -hmm. Well, the owner of the airport, because it's a small airport, I am, I'm like, you know, in really good, um, spirits with the owner of the airport so downstairs he's turning where um there's the seating and stuff like that for the passengers the way he's turned that into a conference room oh. so he said once i'm gonna cry so he said <laughs> once you know, water works. he said once it's done and everything like that um the fee that he charges other people won't be too it won't be too high for me because it has to do with travel Oh, so that's I awesome. may even be able to use it for free and things like that, you know. So we working. That I'm working something awesome. out with that. So yeah, I'm excited good about. Yeah, good job using your network to expand your business. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shamika booked a ski trip to Aspen. Nice. That should be a nice little commission, right? Because Aspen is not cheap. 
And that's for December. Awesome. Felicia did a plug and play on Saturday and working through her peak post. Good job. Good job. I'm, everybody should be doing plug and plays, right? I love it. I love it. Alicia made it to seven figure success school and she's ready for convention. Awesome. Awesome. Good job showing up for your success. Uh, Trey booked all my cabin rooms for my birthday cruise group trip. Excellent. Congratulations on that group booking, right? That's how you get a, a commission check with a comma. I love it. I love it. Ah, uh, Shamika did a three-way for Denise. That's awesome. Mike booked his room for convention. Yes, yes. So they opened up some new rooms. I don't know if they're still open, but if you're still looking for a room at the World Marriott, definitely get back there and check. Um, it's, it's selling out. It's selling out. So if you don't have a room, couldn't find a room, uh, go back in. Um, because they some did open up. I don't know how or what happened. Maybe some people canceled theirs. I have a feeling that might have been it. I don't know. Um, plug and play means that you are, instead of doing a PowerPoint presentation, you're just playing the big picture video and having a conversation with your guests. So anybody can do that. So happy Tuesday, Tanisha. It's Kevin Ikea. Your hair looks amazing, by the way. You got a retire, girl. I love it. It looks Thank tight you. and right. <laughs> so um, I, I'm glad that whoever asked the question about the plug and play, I want to give some shots out to my newest business partners, Terry and Rachel. I believe that Rachel is online. He, she is, they are a part of my first um, married couple. So huge shout out to them. And everybody was at six, six figure school. So we did a plug and play on uh, Friday, uh, we did some giveaways. So that was super, super exciting. Also, my business partner got her first business partner. So what? I did, uh, what was that? I forget what, what's the terminology that we use when we follow up with our business partner. Like a, it's not exactly a coaching, but you know, some just some things that she can uh, do better maybe on the three-way call. Okay. Some developing, yeah. Coach training yes. develop. That's yes. awesome. Yes. awesome, awesome, awesome. And congratulations, Rachel. I love it. Uh, Rochelle says she has someone come on a Zoom last week. She could not reach them for the three-way, um, but she's registered for convention. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yep. And Christina, she made major connections and booked lots of travel while she was advertising her business on vacation and gained potential prospects that live in Illinois. They were on vacation in Puerto Rico. That's awesome. All right. Zeta was able to go back in and book her room at the Marriott. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So let's jump into the topic for today. The topic for today, tips to become a professional inviter with your cold market. So network marketing, all we do is become professional inviters. We invite people to look at our business opportunity. That's all we do, right? The one thing we can't control, and I always say this, is the sign up. So our job is not to sign people up. Our job is to invite people to look at our opportunity, whether you're inviting them to look at a video, you're inviting them to a webinar, you're inviting them to a hotel meeting, you're inviting them to um, maybe a private business reception in your home, or you might be inviting them to listen to the on-demand call, right? So we have five ways that you can uh, show the plan and invite people to look at the opportunity. But today we're going to specifically talk about the cold market, which is way different than the warm market. So make sure you're back here on Thursday, because on Thursday we're going to talk about your warm market. But today it's all about the cold market. So the goal of an open invitation for a stranger to attend a network marketing meeting or an exposure is to sow the acorn to become a mighty oak tree. Three keys to an effective invitation. Number one, 
identify the four color personalities of the prospect. Y'all know about that colors training, right? Has everybody on here watched the colors training by JP Watkins? Is there anybody, be honest in the chat, who has not watched the colors training by JP Watkins that is in your back office? It's in the mobile app. Just comment in the chat, me, if you have not watched the colors training. Okay, Alicia, I need you to do that today. Ruby, I need you to do that today. Andres, I need you to do that today. Very important. Because see, we're about to have a conversation and you don't know what we're talking about when we get into this color. So please, 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 if you have not watched the colors training in your back office with JP Watkins, please go ahead and do that. Very critical to you um, understanding the colors, but we're going to go over that today. Um, number two, speak first sentences. Speak first sentences. So the first one is identify the four color personalities of the prospect. Number two is to speak first sentences. And number three, talk benefits over features. Talk benefits over features. So number one, Identify the four color personalities of the prospect. Our personalities are divided into four color groups, yellow, blue, red, and green. Yellow represents people who are helpful. Blue personalities like to party. Red bosses people around and likes to take charge. Y'all know I'm a red, right? <laughs> green is geeky and analyzes things. So I want you to put in the chat, what color are you? Based on those descriptions I just gave, I'm gonna give them again. Yellow represents people who are helpful. Blue personalities like to party. Red bosses people around and like to take charge. Green is geeky and analyzes things. What colors are you? Go ahead and put it in the chat. Let's see, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a lot of yellows. Ooh, a lot of yellows. I see a blue in there. Uh, Renee, just one. I need you to pick just one. I need you to follow instructions. I said, which, what color are you? We all have all colors in us, but you got to dominate. So which one is it going to be, Renee? Just pick one. Just pick one. Donette says she's a red. Carrie? Just pick one. I understand y'all want to get all into the rainbow, but everybody has a dominant color. A dominant color. Pick one. Pick one. Okay, I see some green, some more yellow. Amira, don't, don't make me drive down the street. She, she actually posted the image of a rainbow. No, ma'am. Pick a color. Karen, purple was not one of the colors. I need you to follow instructions, please. Pick your dominant color. <laughs> there you go. Anybody in our in, in our team? Okay, nope, nobody picked the color over there. All right. Everyone you meet may have a combination of the four color personalities. One will stand above the rest. It is the dominating color trait which will help us create an effective invitation. You approach a stranger named Thornton. After a brief introduction, Thornton immediately says, get to the point. I don't have time for chit chat. Thornton reveals himself to be a red personality. He is a take charge kind of guy. He doesn't have time for small talk and likes to see the big picture. Thornton loves big money. All right, so that's Thornton. Anybody ever meet a Thornton in your prospecting? Yeah, they out there, right? Let's talk about Jane. Jane, on the other hand, is yellow. She is helpful, has a servant's heart, and always hugging and making people feel at home. <laughs> I like to hug. She likes to know how something can help someone else achieve their dreams and make them feel good. Y'all see the difference between Thornton and Jane, right? Y'all follow it? All right. 
Let's party is the blue personality of Billy. Billy is always talking and never listening. <laughs> Usual party invitations light up Billy's life. He lives for them. Billy draws crowds at gatherings and parties and gets them to do his bidding. He is the life of most parties and everyone wants to be around him. Billy is a born leader. Green is the dominant color for Judy. She is a bookworm, loves to sift through data. She likes detail and craves for organization. Give her the facts and leave her to mold them over in her mind. She takes her time making decisions, but when one is reached, she is all in. All right, there are four, I'm sorry, these are the four color personality groups. How do we find which one is dominant in people? By using the formula formed, F-O-R-M-D. There's a new letter, D. So I'm gonna give you what they all mean, okay? So formed is the way of asking questions to help us find the dominant color trait. The question center around F is for family, O is for occupation, R is for recreation, M is for money or motivation, and D is for dreams. I like that, right? D is, you all are probably like me, we're familiar with form, F-O-R-M, but that D for dreams, I love that, right? It builds rapport. It helps find the needs, desires, and wants of the prospect and identifies the color personalities foremost in his life. All right. Number two, speak first sentences. Interest me. Give me something that makes me pay attention. This is the mantra of every invitation. For the invitation to matter for the prospect to take notice, it must stand out and make a first impression. Making a first impression starts with the first sentence to open the invitation. The sequence of first words spoken are the words which grab attention. So when a person starts a sentence with the first words, would it be okay if, or are you open to, the subconscious mind easily follows what comes next. Would it be okay if I could tell you how to quit your nine to five job and still make more money? Are you open to letting me show you how to get your car payment paid every month? Would it be okay if I show you how to end your back pain with this new drink from the Amazon rainforest? Are you open to a holiday energy boost to help you lose 10 pounds in a week? These questions are more interesting and cause prospects to listen and respond more positive than, I have a great opportunity where you're going to quit your job and make you a millionaire in a year. Eh, wrong answer. You got to join this new business venture where your car payment is made for you every month. Eh, wrong. <laughs> right? We don't want to do that. You're going to love this new product, which will stop that back pain that you have. Wrong. I got the perfect product for you to lose 10 pounds around the waist. Wrong. <laughs> Notice the first group of statements asks permission. And that is the key. You got to ask permission to show the opportunity. And so when you know someone who could benefit from this business and you're just saying, oh my gosh, I got this great um, opportunity you need to take a look at, that's the wrong approach. You got to ask permission first, right? The second group does not. When the first group with the first group, the mind easily grants permission while the second guards their wallet. Y'all catch that? 
when you ask permission, it opens it up and it makes it easy for your prospect to really now listen because they know what's going to come next. They're eager to hear, right? But the second one guards their wallet. The first group uses pop culture and the second does not. Asking permission with, would it be okay if, and are you open to, makes the mind more acceptable to the invitation. You are not pushy, not salesy, and not overbearing. Permission is easily granted by the prospects. Is that helpful to anybody? Did anybody just have kind of like an aha moment? Benita, can you talk about it? That is, when I say an aha moment, because it sounds more like, I don't know. It just, it's different. And I, I always said to myself, I don't think I'm wording when I do my videos, I don't think I'm coming to them the right way. So to ask that, what you just said sounds more peacefully, like complete, like, you know, I think I got this. I think I got this. So I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. iPhone. Who's that on the iPhone? It's me, Miss Burke. Uh, this is Delta. I don't know why my picture Delta. is not. <laughs> but um, I wanted to, to comment on. I think when you when you do formulate the questions in that manner towards them, it's 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 showing them their. Uh, how can I say it? The consideration of their feelings. You're taking their feelings in consideration, and it, it's showing that it's about them and how going to come back and respond as opposed to me it's all about me i'm gonna jump in no I, I i got this business for you i know you're going to be bomb at it but that's not how you it's not about you right it's a, you coming to them even though you know what you have to offer to them is going to be beneficial to them but let them come to that conclusion that yeah okay you yeah um, sure. Let me hear what it is you have to say. There'd be more perspective to it. You got so, it. Yeah. Got it. Excellent. Excellent perspective, Delta. Constance and then Kim. Yeah. It's like what I wrote down was not, not getting into their business. When you say not getting into their wallet, that's getting into their business. Now you all in my money, you all in my money, but right. <laughs> you know, and I'm, and that's why I think what is, this is really good for me. Cause that's where I kind of like stop at. Cause then got in my head, I'm like, well, they're going to think I'm getting into their money. They think I'm getting into their business. And I don't like getting into folk business. If you don't invite me in, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to ask you no questions or anything like that. So this is basically, would it be okay if, um, are you open to, and I always, I'm thinking, what is that, that those, it's a couple of words. What is the, what are those words? I can't remember. I can't, man, I have books all over the place, but this is my main book right here now. So I just wrote that down and highlighted it. So now it's going to be easy. It's going to be much I can't, I don't want to say easier, but more for me to be more comfortable to approaching people and not thinking in the back of my head, are they going to think I'm getting into their money? Are they going to think I'm all in their business and stuff like that? So that's why I wrote down, not getting into their business, I into their it. wallet. I mm -hmm. love it. Kim? Yeah, Kim, I, um, I wrote down that, um, you know, people aren't looking for anything. So if you're saying, you're going to love this, I'm, why I'm not looking for anything um, like they everybody's saying would you be open to gives them the opportunity the option to think well maybe I could be open maybe I am looking for something instead of forcing them to say you're going to love this here do this no nah. <laughs> right exactly exactly and just think about this stop telling grown people what they want Cause that's what you do when you don't ask permission. You you telling grown people what they want, what they should do. How would you feel if someone tells you what you should or should not do, what you should and should not spend your money on? We grown. You gotta ask permission. You gotta ask permission. If you ask permission, people are going to say yes. They're more inclined to say yes as opposed to guarding their wallet, right? So number three, talk benefits over features. Talk benefits over features. The benefits of network marketing always outweighs features. Benefits are what a thing does. 
features explain what it is. Features are maltodextrin, amino acid mix, citric acid, fruity mix flavoring, and vitamin mix. Benefits are a tea which stimulates brain function, fights fatigue, and allows you to focus and concentrate longer. Features are binary downlines, qualifying EF, circle points, and volume points of the compensation plan, right? That's a feature, right? Residual income, team bonuses, leveraged income, right? Those are all features. Whereas the benefits are the 20% rep discount on products, home bonus program, tax deductions, car payment program, credit card and debt relief, passive income, building a team, training and a six figure income. Features or benefits? Which of these two do you think best represents the invitation to a network marketing meeting? Focus on benefits, leave features to another time, right? They're gonna get the features when they watch the video. They're gonna get the features of our opportunity when they attend a webinar, right? So you wanna speak more to the benefits. So putting the invitation together, practice using all three steps to create the perfect invitation request for a meeting. Let's put it together. All right, so remember Thornton, our red personality? He is blunt doesn't have time for small talk, takes charge, and money is his inspiration. Add benefits which match his red personality to a first sentence, and Thornton is sold. Thornton, would it be okay if I showed you how you can make money, big money, $100,000 passive income in less than 90 days, a millionaire in a year? You get to manage your own team and be the boss? You can fire your boss in the next 60 days with the money you'll make. Would you come with me to this meeting on Thursday night? Meet me at this address at 7 p.m. sharp. I know you won't be late. Y'all catch that? Now, let's match this to our planet marketing business because we don't want to make claims, right, about how much money people can make, right? But if you're if your person is a red, if that's their dominant color, you got to talk about the money. So you can talk about how you're going to introduce them to, you know, um, uh, your mentor or coach who is a top income earner in the company, who is a Sapphire ring wear or one of the millionaires in our company or who's leading a large team, right? So you're inviting them to meet someone who is making the money that's going to share some information on your behalf. Does that make sense? Any comments on that? Y'all understand how to talk to a red. You got to talk to them about the money. That's their sweet spot. And that's all this really is with the colors. It's finding that person's sweet spot. So with the red, it got to be about the money, right? Taking control. Notice how they said, you can fire your boss in the next 60 days, right? You can build a team, be your own boss. That's gonna speak to the Reds. Any questions, comments, feedback about the Reds? Does it make sense? Uh, let me check the comments. Carrie, can you repeat the benefits? Benefits, uh, benefits are a tea which stimulates the brain function, fights fatigue, and allows you to focus and concentrate. So basically, benefits are what the thing does. Just write that down. Benefits are what the thing does, right? When you join Planet Marketing, what does it do? It helps you to create financial freedom, personal freedom, time freedom. That's what it does. Whereas the features, are going to be the 50% check match, right? The, the $50 direct sale commission, the $10 team bonuses, the $4 in residual income, right? Those are the features, but we wanna talk about what it does. It helps you design your ideal life. Does that make sense, Carrie? Right, Shamika, skip the small talk with the reds, just go straight to the money, <laughs> right? All right. Yes, I agree. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, 
putting the invitation together. All right, so let's go down to Billy. Our party animal is Billy. So what color is Billy, the party animal? Let's see who's paying attention. Blue. Exactly, blue. His personality is blue. Billy likes to talk and listen without hearing. He draws large crowds at any party that he attends. His words create action for those who follow him. Try to speak to him and he will always be in a hurry to get to the next conversation. Combine a sequence of words and benefits in a first sentence matching with his blue personality and Billy will be our next leader. Billy, would it be okay if I showed you a way you could party all night and travel to any exotic destination in the world that you choose and at any time you choose with all expenses paid? I'm going to a meeting where you can join a business and be the life of the party. Crowds of people will hang on to your every word. You will have expensive cars and clothes all paid for through the business if you join. You will be debt-free. You will meet people from all over the world who would be in business with you, making you money 24-7. More money equals more great parties, more exotic trips, newer cars, and more fun, right? That's kind of an exaggeration. We're not going to go that deep in it. But do you understand the point is if Billy likes to have fun, then in your invitation, you have to include that. Or else it's not it's not going to be interesting to him. Does that make sense? Y'all following that? And when you talk about our opportunity, we sell recess. So how easy is it to invite someone who is a blue to our opportunity when you talk about we sell recess, right? I love how they said travel to any exotic destination in the world that you choose, right? That's legitimate with our, our product in teletravel, right? Going to convention, right? We were just at Seven Figure Success School in Atlanta, right? Those are all things, right? We got the eight-year anniversary coming up. There's a party at the end, right? Those are all things that are going to be attractive, right? The fam trips, those are all things that are going to be attractive to the blue, right? The, the get-togethers that we have after the event, right? How many people went to Seven Figure Success School and then went out to eat, right? With a bunch of your team members, right? Or got together, right? Those are all things that are gonna be attractive to the blue. So you need to include that in the first sentence or else you're gonna miss them. You're gonna miss them, all right? Any comments, feedback on that? All right. Jane. Jane is our yellow personality. Money does not interest Jane. Parties, trips, and new cars do not motivate her. Jane likes to help. Jane wants to know how our products and opportunity can stop the suffering of people. Have benefits with a servant heart toward helping others relieve their pain, and Jane will be there. Jane, are you open to a business where you can help people get out of debt, work from home 20 hours a week and enjoy their kids and family on their own time? I'm going to a meeting at 7 p.m. on Tuesday night where your help is needed. The meeting is about helping people and families in need. This business will empower you with the ability to raise people out of poverty and give them real hope an arsenal of tools, resources, and help from other people to invest in your cause will be at your disposal with this business. The business has a servant heart. Are you open to it? Cha-ching, Jane is in. Jane will be at the meeting. Y'all catch that? If you go talking to a yellow about money, they're going to be turned off. They're going to be turned off. If you talk to a yellow, about all the fam trips and the traveling and, and they're gonna be turned off. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that new business partners make, especially with their invitation when they're talking to their prospects, is you talk about you. You think what you liked about the business is what they're gonna like about the business. You are totally oblivious to what color the person is. 
right? A lot of people join this business for the travel. Ah, travel is fun. I love it. I want to be able to travel more, travel, travel, travel. That's the blue. That's the blue. But if you're over here talking to a yellow about the travel, 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 then you're wondering why they say I'm not interested. They're not interested because you didn't find their sweet spot. You made it about you and not about them. Are y'all catching this? If y'all get this, you got you going to see how much faster you're going to be able to grow your business and get to these three-way calls. But if you don't find the people's sweet spot, you'll never get to the three. Matter of fact, you won't even, not even a three-way call. You'll never get to the exposure, the showing the plan. Because you got to get past the peak. So if you're peaking them the wrong way, you ain't going to get to the exposure, which means you're definitely not going to get to the three-way call. Is this making sense? Is anybody having an aha moment right now? Has anybody just realized they've been doing this all wrong? Just type guilty in the chat. <laughs> just type guilty in the chat if you just had some aha moment. You're like, oh, no wonder I'm getting all of these rejections. No wonder I'm talking to them about what I like instead of trying to identify their color and talking to them about th what they would like. Thank you. Oh, oh my goodness, good. I appreciate the transparency. Pandora said guilty. Zara said guilty. <laughs> Kevinika said I've been flip-flopping. And yes, right? Alicia said guilty. Stephanie, guilty. Benita said guilty. Angela, guilty. Donette, guilty. Octavia, guilty. Zeta, guilty. Okay, see, we're making progress. We're making progress. So that's good. That's good. So I hope you're taking some really good notes, right? All right. Judy. Judy is our geeky analyst. Her personality is green. Give her fact upon fact, and she is in hog heaven. <laughs> she thinks things through thoroughly. She thinks logically. Judy cares more about features than benefits. Detail, detail, and more detail. It makes her happy. Judy, are you open to a business where your analysis is needed daily, where you can choose a team of other like-minded analysts to work with you and make you money 24-7? This company has a detailed compensation plan, which could use your expertise to break it down in more simple terms for people like myself. You could help other people with a report about the business, the compensation plan, and its features. Bring a notepad and at least two pens or pencils. You'll be taking lots of notes. Meet me at 7 p.m. Saturday night at this address and be ready to write down detailed questions which you may have. We'll go over them when the meeting is finished. Are you open to it? Judy's going to be so excited because you're speaking her love language. Details, 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 right? It's really simple. Now, let's talk about introducing the opportunity or products to a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So occasionally, your meetings may not be with a group of other people. You will be required to do a one-on-one -on -one to present the business opportunity. It may also entail you do a presentation for the products. Once the invitation is given to a one-on-one, -on -one, here are ways of introducing the business opportunity. Open all meetings with this type of introduction to the products or opportunity. It calms people's fears down and negates any negativity. This works well with the crowd. So with an opportunity, let's talk about Thornton. Most people, right? So Thornton, most people I talk with about Planet Marketing join because they see how well this can help their incomes. The cost is only $200 one time plus $60 monthly. That's $2 a day, less than the cost of a cup of coffee. As a matter of fact, the only two reasons people don't join are they don't really understand our business model or that times are so tough they can't afford $200. What I'm going to do is present to you the basic facts about the opportunity and if you like it, fine, we'll get started. If you don't, fine, that's okay too. Fair enough? 
It's easy, y'all. Y'all been overthinking this, right? <laughs> who's been overthinking it? Who wants to talk about it? Delta me. Bad. Go ahead. <laughs> who's that? Who said me? Constance, you've been overthinking it? For years. Thank you for being honest. Karen, have you been overthinking it? You want to talk about it? Yes. I know sometimes I say too much, but I usually just ask, I do ask permission. I've been starting it and I've been, and I actually got it from you. So it hasn't been that long ago. I, you know, I've just been following you a few months now and I've been, you know, talking to the team about, we got to ask permission. Don't I say that team? I see my team on here. Don't I say that? We got to ask permission. I'm so glad that you're saying this because I got it from you. <laughs> good, good, good. So, um, those are the four color personalities and a first sentence with benefits. Combined, they create the invitation to a successful network marketing business. They give incentive to friend and stranger alike for attending the meeting. So that, that's it. I mean, I just gave y'all everything, right? There should be nothing left on the table. So again, if you have not watched JP Watkins colors training, go back and watch it. She also did an upgraded version to the to it on basic training. So you can go in your back office and find the updated version um, to that. But it's very, very simple. Remember, it's not about you. Y'all taking notes, write that down. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's about your prospect. And so remember formed, F-O-R-M-D, right? The D stands for dreams. Family, occupation, recreation, money, or motivation, and dreams. What are their dreams, right? And this is how you can find out what color they are. It's going to give you some hints, some clues. And it's also going to make you pay attention more. All right? Uh, who is that Zoom user? I saw your hand up. That that's that's you, Davina. She's talking to you, Davina. Go ahead, Davina. Unmute yourself. Okay. Let me get back to the where we are. I ain't doing the world, my I've been doing it all wrong. Talk about I've been it, over trying it. I've had so many people to get with me, stay with me for a few. I've had three, three times. And they quit. So I'm not teaching them right. So I'm trying to learn. I went to seven figure school. I learned a million things. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. So I have to close my mouth and listen with my two ears more. Yes. So that's what I want to say. Close my mouth, listen with my two ears. That's why God gave us two ears and one yeah. mouth. There you go. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Thank you for that feedback. Thank you for that feedback. And um, seven figure school guys were was admitted, was amazing. Yeah, so make sure you get registered when they announce the next one. You don't want to miss it. Um, nope. Take your education. Delta, I see your hand up. Yes, Director Burke. It, it, every time when I'm in, in experiencing a new experience, I'm always, I'm always trying to elevate myself and always learning. And I'm, and I'm constantly having a conversation with myself to say that we, I have to recondition my thought pattern, recondition me, recondition my mind and what to say, because I have, and it's not, it's, it's not saying anything bad about my mentors and people that who, 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 who brought me into the business and me learning because we're all learning. We, we, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to stay stagnant. I'm always trying to elevate myself and learning and just to say for you, thank God for you being who you are and, and instilling into us, giving us that power 
to go in a different direction to, like I said, elevate us up and recondition our mind. And, it, and that, I think that's what it is. We have to wash out the old and reinvest into the new so we can hit the ground running and move forward. Because I, I think for me, I've gotten stagnated. I was in, in, in a situation where I didn't take, I didn't utilize the opportunity to do what I needed to do, but it's, it, it's a learning curve for me. So I'm learning, but like I said, reconditioning my thought pattern, reconditioning my mind. And then, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm starting to put signs up, you know, like, like, uh, your, um, your, with memory board, but <laughs> fell down, I'm going to put it back up, but to have this, um, it's not about me. Just put, you know, RK Dust is not about you. It's about that individual. And just like I said, keep, you know, imp implementing it in my head and my thought pattern and moving forward. But exactly. thank you. You're welcome. And this, again, this is why we say y'all got to plug in. Y'all got to plug into the different trainings. Y'all got to plug into the team meetings, right? The reason why you plug in is because none of us are really telling you anything different, but it's just the way the presenter presents it. You may receive it differently. Right. Right. It's just like when you read a book and then five years later, you read the book again. It's like a whole new book. <laughs> Same book, nothing's changed in the book, but you just received it differently. Why? Because you've elevated, you've had growth, you've changed your perspective. You're smarter now, right? It's, it's the same thing here. I'm not telling y'all anything different. The training today was nothing different that you haven't already heard from one of the basic trainings or JP Walker, right? It's nothing different. There was no, oh, I didn't know that. No, it's, it's just that I presented it in a different way. And so some of you are now receiving it better because it was presented a different way, right? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Stephanie? Stephanie, we can't hear you. Did you come off mute yet? Did I lose her? Can't she off mute. Stephanie, we can't hear you. Go ahead and type your- Okay, here I am. There you, you go. Me? Yes. Okay, I'm rebooting. I'm finally rebooting because what I was doing is I was not getting to the bottom line. I had so many people that have presented that opportunity too, but because I had this fear of the rejection piece, it prevented me from going forward. So now I have to get to the point where give me an answer, give me a response so I can move forward and just start making rejection my friend. The more I accept the rejection, the further along I can get. So this was very good for me today. Yes, and you'll have less rejection if you identify their color and include that in your first sentence. Exactly. <laughs> Remember, no one says no to something that's in their own best interest. Yep. Y'all write that down. No one says no to something that's in their own best interest. Right? If Kim is literally on fire, and I say, Kim, would you like some? Can I say, that's okay, let me burn. She's not going to say that. It's in her own best interest, so she's going to always say yes. She's going to be very interested. Right, Shamika? I was just going to ask, um, could you kind of like go over some of the occupations or career fields that we see a lot of those uh, colors are in, like their dominant colors? Um, because and I only ask that because you know it's our cold market so sometimes we may not have a chance to have all that conversation and you could kind of identify a little bit of their color trait depending on what kind of career they have <laughs> very very true very very true so yeah yellows anybody in the medical field yellow ministry yellow <laughs> Teachers, right? Anybody in the education field? Yellow. Your first responders? Yellow. People who talk about having a 401c? Yellows. 
Anybody else? Am I missing any fields? Who can identify a, a field that a yellow would be drawn to? I mean, those are the main ones right there, right? Let's talk about, uh, oh, social workers worker. definitely are yellow. Social workers are definitely yellow. All right, let's talk about blues. Event planners are blues. <laughs> um, what other profession would be blue? DJs. DJ, yeah. Singing party promoters. Mm hmm Anybody maybe, else? Maybe entertainers. Maybe. Socialites, entertainers. Yes, definitely. Anybody in the entertainment field. Bartenders. Yep, that's good. Comedians. Yep, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's talk about the greens. The greens are going to be the accounting, the accountants, analysts, engineers, case managers. Mm -hmm. Case managers can sometimes be yellow, depending on what they're managing. What about lawyers? Where would they uh, fall? What bracket would, I mean, you know, color would they fall into? Green. Green. Okay. Okay. I would say definitely green. Some lawyers, depending on um, if they, if they're getting, it depends on what type of law. Let me just say that. It depends on what type of law. Okay. Corporate law, they're going to be green, right? But if they work for the state, right, and they do a lot of pro bono work, they're yellows, mm -hmm. okay. right? So it really depends on what type of law. All right, some people do family law. Guess what? They're probably going to be more yellow. Mm -hmm. Right? But if they're in corporate law, they're definitely going to be more green because now you're, you know, forensic accounting and, you know, it's, it's just different. It really just depends on what type of law. Right? Mathematicians are green. Auditors are green. Right? So that, oh, to uh, Director Burke, so that uh, will let you know that you need to do, if they are a lawyer, you need to do more conversation to find out yeah, what type, type of law? lawyer, what type of law to let you know. Absolutely. The, so Absolutely. That's, that's the more conversation and that form, that form, you, you can't go wrong with that form. And now I'm glad you add that D, the dreams, because that's what we are, because that's what they say at the seven figure school, still the dream. The dream. Tell the dream, you know, so you yep. got to know what their dream are. And our, our business, this business can, <laughs> it can suffice every dream that people exactly. have. So we got to know what exactly. it is. So exactly. more conversation. Yeah. Uh, Luanda says scientists. Yes, yeah, scientists are definitely green. <laughs> Very much so. Okay. Yeah, cops and firefighters are going to be yellow, right? Who are your reds? They're the CEOs. Reds are CEOs. Business, I mean, business owners. Entrepreneurs, a lot of entrepreneurs are going to be red. Success, let me say this, successful. Because you can start a business, okay, that made you an entrepreneur. But the successful entrepreneur, they're going to be red. The non-successful entrepreneurs are yellow. <laughs> they might be yellow or blue or green because they let their color stop them for, from tapping into their red is, is what I'm saying, right? So if you are not a red, you personally, and this isn't about your prospect, I'm talking about you. If you are not a red, I want you to know you have red in you. You just have to tap into it. You have to pull that red out, right? Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of red. You're gonna be look, you're gonna be orange before you get to red. But if you keep tapping into it, you'll get to your red. Okay. Davina. You're on mute. Hold on. Let me help you. I wanted to say the lawyers, that's all about the money. They're red. Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely. They are very red because they don't want to hear about no trying to help you. They ain't trying to listen to you. They ain't trying to do nothing but take the money in. Exactly. <laughs> Focus on money only. Yeah. Think- but again, you got to determine what type of law they're practicing because that may not always be the case. Right. right. So you can't make an assumption. Shamika. Um, somebody just had a question in the chat. I thought it was good. She said, Ms. Kizzy asks, where will Barbara Stylers, Stylus and Mashara's therapist fit? What color? Uh, I would say red because they decided to become an entrepreneur because they want to be, they want to be the boss, right? Reds want to be the boss. Yeah. All right. So that concludes, I want to hear three takeaways, your biggest takeaways. Let me hear from three people before we close out. It's not about me. That's good. That's good. It's not about me. Anybody else? Yeah. The forms, um, the forms that I, instead of just having a conversation with people on the forms to really listen and see what their color is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's my major takeaway because I can do forms all day long but and listen to what they want in their dreams but trying and but listen to find out what their color is to really like get into that that deeper why that's it right there for me that's good Davina more yeah you're I can hear you more to keep my mouth closed and my ears open good good excellent excellent Delta and ask permission that's it. Asking permission, right? So again, it, bring your notes to life and practice, practice, practice. I want everybody today to take the information you received this morning and I want you to go invite a cold market person to look at this opportunity based on what you learned today. Okay? Because if you don't, if you don't implement what you just learned today, if you don't implement it today, you're going to lose it. And it's just going to be words on a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. You got to put it into practice. And that's where a lot of people are failing. All right. So again, this will be uploaded on my YouTube channel. If you're watching from my YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that this can circulate and help more people. Thank you all for joining us today. And I'll see you on Thursday where we're going to give you tips on how to invite to your warm market. Have a great day, everyone. Director Burke, Director, yes. I have a little quick question about the presentation. I'm on my um, computer now. It says business etiquette presentation. Is that the new one or is it just the, um, the no, convention? No, that's presentation? a different presentation. Look at the, okay, first one, the first or second one. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye, everyone.